Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. This week is a very variety based asset roundup. We have buildings, we have hangers, we have pedlos, and we have Corrales. Well, let's do this. And to kick things off this week, we have Los Gecko's Half Timbered House. Now this house is beautiful and it really does remind me of a UK style medieval house. There's plenty of those around in my local area and the detail levels as always are superb. I particularly love the roof itself and those wooden beams really do add character. Fantastic model. Up next we have a very quirky model by Dub and it's a selection of pedalos and what better place to place these pedalos than next to the beach or against a big communal lake. And to continue on from boats we have the tall ship by Iron Winds and this model was released last week but it had a platform attached to it I'm so pleased that he's released the actual ship model because this model is beautiful and we can get away with placing it anywhere now in the sea. Detail levels fantastic, even at night time it really comes alive. Fantastic model. Next we have the return from Daft and his Detroit Fire Headquarters. This model is beautiful. The texturing levels are out of this world. The model itself is fantastic, it's a great asset to have in any busy city centre. Particularly speaking when we don't have that many large assets to play with. Up next we have King Leno with his cement sidewalks. So for those of you who want to tart up your payments or even just add some sections to your parking lots, these are certainly the correct assets for you. Up next we have another, another asset from the busy working Exurbanite. Now if you haven't been following his assets, he's been releasing a lot of these type of commercial buildings and they all work very well together. Very Main Street American, brilliant build, Rico ready, what are you waiting for? If you're looking to build yourself a beautiful American city, these are the commercial buildings you need. Up next we have the airport hangar by Ronix. This is one huge hangar and it's very detailed. There's not many hangars on the workshop yet that are detailed to this level, but this is out of this world. Huge, beautiful, you can get away with using it in a lot of different ways, obviously built for airplanes, but why not use it for a warehouse? Up next we have Ali with his HDB and these are buildings based on a Singapore architecture I believe. It really gives off that heavy residential build area and you can see that the washing lines are hanging off the side because they're all meant to be bunched together which is what it's very much like in Singapore. Beautiful nighttime lights, great model. So previously we saw the Eco Office building from Honka and this week we have the Clark Street Mixed Use. So the mixed use is based on people living above the shops below. Fantastic model, I do love the brickwork and well. However, not a huge fan of the barbecue on the roof, a little bit over the top for my style, but it still works. Up next we have some Soviet houses from Targa and I do love this model. This model I think can get away with being used in a lot of European countries as well. There's a few buildings in fact in the UK that look very much like this. But what I particularly love is the attention to detail on all aspects. You've got the balconies and even the front of the building with the stone faces. With the huge number of boats being released recently on the workshop I'm glad that Mick Crosshill has decided to make a boat storage rack. Very simple but yet very effective, a great asset to add by your port or harbour. F1 is up next with his Toronto Simcoe Place. This building is based in Canada and it's a Rico model so it's perfect for placement. Size 10 by 6, very unique build, something very different to add into your skyline. 
And personally, I'm always a fan of these glass buildings. They do look absolutely beautiful, sleek and modern. Up next, we have a very different type of asset brought to the workshop by Genable, and this is a modular building. And what this building pack offers us is the ability to be a little bit more creative in our builds. So we get the bottom module and then also the top modules. And as you can see here, the pack includes a number of different types for you to make up your own buildings. Fantastic idea and I look forward to seeing a few more of those in the workshop. Do you recall those beautiful white water lilies we saw a number of weeks back? Well, the creator had see has returned with this beautiful Ryan George brick house. Now the level of detail is outstanding. I love the different types of textures we've got here. We've got the white bricks, we've got the bricks around the side and the front of the building itself really does look amazing. And what I love best is this night view with the flowers in the windows. Sticking to the German film, we have Titan's release of the Lübben Town Hall. Titan has really made a name for himself building these beautiful detailed buildings and what I love best is his use of plants. Now most buildings have very disgusting default trees but these are beautiful and placed nicely it's actually proper already really in my opinion. And last but not least King Leno has released his tribute to the beautiful amazing builder Corallis. Now if you haven't heard of Corallis and you enjoy City Skylines, I don't know what you're doing, but get on his channel ASAP, he is fantastic. But going back to the model here, as always King Leno doesn't disappoint. This is a pure tribute and something to be very proud of if you're Corallis. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you would like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.